the opening shot, as soon as I went to the edge of the boat and I seen the, I don't know what they call it, but as soon as I saw the shot, I said, that's it. That's going to be the opening shot of this video. And I had to stay true to that. I had to stay true to that because it just seemed like a classic. Okay, Philip. So, anyways, we're here. We arrived, and uh, what's that sign say? It says, "Welcome to where?" Port of Tag Hill. Okay, so we get off this boat, and we pull on the port. And uh, even though we get off the boat, and I'm looking around, I still don't know where the heck I am. So Brandon's like, "Okay, what's this sign say?" Okay, obviously he says welcome. That's English. I can read that. But then it says port of Tag Tagbilaran. Tagbilaran. Tag Bill Aran. Tag What's the short version of that word? What's Bahal. the word? Bahal, there you go. Bahal, baby. Now you know where you're at. Field Bailey Photography and the Motion Travel Guide in Tarara. Bahal. <laughs> Hey, what's going on there? YouTube, Facebook, this is Phil Bailey from Phil Bailey Photography, and I'm editing some videos from Bahal. back on the memories that we've shared in Bahal and uh, I just knew that this was going to be one of my favorite projects after experiencing the floating restaurants and just the people there, the native house that we stayed in. Um, we were right on the river. It was just uh, just an experience that I know I'm never going to forget. <laughs> Brandon and Milo, they're never going to forget it. And uh, we're going to show you guys, we're going to share with you our experiences, so stay tuned. We pull up to this platform and we park and it's like oh wow what's going to happen now look at there yeah that's cool too and we see these girls and guys dressed up in the pink tops and the white bottoms. And um, you got the guitar players and it's just like, you know, okay, we're going to have a show. Let the show begin. You know, I was excited for it. There's this guy, this old guy that comes out and he's just like, arms out, just like... One of the things that was really important for me was just to get the most creative shot that I could. Every single little detail that I could pick up, I had to get. So I'm sitting there in a floating restaurant and I'm just looking down at all the different little details. Um, all the little handcrafted details, the roping, the webbing. And I just decided to shoot some video of the water. The water was just very beautiful in itself, not to mention the surrounding areas, the palm trees, um, the rolling hills, everything was just like a painting, like a live painting.
I really want to get a good angle of these these two. They were really having a good time. That's just so cute and, and romantic in a way, you know. So after the floating restaurant, our itinerary was basically like, we went to the floating restaurants, we went to um, the zip lines, and the zip lines was like over this great, beautiful ravine. I don't know, it had to have been at least, at least a 1, thousand, fifteen hundred feet um, above a ravine. And so basically Brandon and I said, you know what? I was like, it's like, what you think? What you, what you think, man? Should we get on the zip line? To chicken? He's like, chicken. So Brennan and I get on the zip line, right? And we're just sitting there, we're just sitting there strapped there, we're just floating, just like. <sighs> no, I'm just playing. That wasn't us, but uh, we were just there watching. But if we go back to Bahal, definitely we're going on the zip line. <laughs> We went to some kind of like zoo area where they didn't really charge you an entrance fee, but they simply had these donation boxes. So we put little coins in the donation box and we proceed down to all these different little exhibits. And we see like this really, really small monkey with these big eyes. In your and eyes! Oh. And then we get to this thing that's like hanging from the air like a bat would be hanging from the air. But I'm looking at it and I'm like asking Brandon like, the fuck is that? And I still don't know the name of it, but I saw it again. It's a lie. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what this is. It's a, uh, how do you say the name? Kagwang. Kag Kagwang. Kagwang. Wow. <laughs> Too much English on my tongue. <laughs> oh my gosh. If there's one thing that I learned about the Philippines and the Philippine animals and the people, it's not about worrying about getting your pocket picked, but the monkeys will take your stuff. They got monkeys with great big eyes. They got monkeys that will steal your camera if you let it. I'll take the camera. <laughs> Look, take you want to take, 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 take a picture? Monkey take picture. Monkey take picture. Monkey take your picture. Look, monkey take your picture. There was a monkey here that was trying to take a picture of Brandon's camera. They eat gum. They eat crackers. They eat food. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> he grabbed it. He grabbed the camera. <laughs> Say hello to YouTube, monkey. Whoa! Yeah, that's what they said about monkeys. Is they're always stealing stuff. Rapper, rapper. Ah! Monkey. Crazy. They will jump on you. The monkeys will jump on you. Say hello to YouTube. Say hello to the YouTube people. Monkey, monkey. Hello. I don't <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Hey, here goes Bill to get the monkey's little cracker. Can he get it without the monkey getting on him? Oh, no. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh, he almost got a cracker. Oh, he got the cracker. Oh. Part of the cracker had failed, but the monkey couldn't really get to it because he was on this little leash. So, I was like, okay, let me see if I can get the cracker. So I go down there, I try to get the cracker, and I got it. Got that cracker from the monkey. Got the cracker. Oh, oh, the monkey got it back. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, the monkey got it back. <laughs> Whatever they want, they usually get it. If they can get their hands around it, or if they're in a cage, and if they can get it through the cage, they'll get it.
<laughs> this was definitely one of the coolest zoos or exhibits for animals I've ever been to ever in my life. Um, the big giant python was cool too, but I think the monkeys was was definitely a cool place.